Hello everyone, welcome to Big Fish. Today, we will talk about the story of baby Moses. So let's begin with a pray. Dear God, we thank you for bringing us together here in this hard time. We thank you for giving us everything that we have. We thank you for the world that we now live in. Dear God, we pray that those less fortunate than us will soon be cured of their disease, problems, whatever it is. You'll be there to help them if only they'd open their hearts open to you. So we pray that this session will go well and we hope you enjoy it. Amen. Amen. So now we begin our story. There was a man from the family of the Levi. He married a woman who was also from the family of Levi. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She saw how wonderful the baby was and she had him for three months. But the pharaoh had ordered a terrible blow, which stated, Oh, he rude boy will be thrown to the crocodiles. Mwah, ha, ha, ha. Horrible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But what could the woman do? So she put the baby in the basket. Then she put the basket among the tall grass at the edge of the Nile River. The baby's sister stood a short distance away. She wanted to see what would happen to him. Then the daughter of the king of Egypt came to the river. She was going to take a bath. Her servant girls were walking beside the river. She saw the basket in the tall grass. So she went her slave girl to get it. The king's daughter opened the basket and saw the baby boy. He was crying and crying and crying. And she felt sorry for him. She said, this is one of the Hebrew babies. Then the baby's sister asked the king's daughter, Would you like me to find a Hebrew woman to nurse the baby for you? The king's daughter said, Yes, please. So the girl went and got the baby's own mother. The king's daughter said to the woman, Take this baby and nurse him for me. I will pay you. So the woman took her baby and nursed him. After the child had grown older, the woman took him to the king's daughter. She adopted the baby as her own son. The king's daughter named him Moses because she had pulled him out of the water. Isn't a very wonderful story? Yeah. Do you like this story, Daniel? Yeah. So what did you learn today? Uh, that God saves everybody. Yeah, even now we are in any situation, God with us all the time. We all love God. And sometimes we don't know what the future holds, but we do know who holds the future and God always with us. So we are keep praying. Thank you for listening. Bye.